Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. We do have some pretty crazy stuff to go through in this video, but before we do, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. I'm trying to hit all-time highs this week, and if you guys are as well, make sure to drop a like on the video for some good luck. Also, if you want some free cash, make sure to go down below to my description and click on the second link. Download the Public app. Public is a lot like Robinhood. It's another stock broker. And right now, if you click on my link and sign up, you will receive a free stock without even having to deposit any money. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. Today, we had a little bit of a pop, and then we had the same old consolidation as we've been having the last few days. But still, guys, if you look at the last month, we are up 84.18% in the past month. And what does this chart show you? It looks perfect to me. We are consolidating very nicely with small little bounces here and there. But from my trading experiences, a lot of times a chart consolidating like this is just preparing for the next leg up. I still think it's very possible we could hit $60 plus and stay above that honor before Friday. We are going into tomorrow again with a higher short interest change. We have a 1.49% change as of today. There is roughly 20% of all the free float shares shorted right now, which is absolutely insane. The shorts are still not covering. They are literally borrowing more shares and shorting AMC even more. And on top of that, we're hearing reports of more incidents that people are actually being asked to borrow off their shares from their brokerages. Trading 212 apparently, allegedly had this go on today. We've been seeing more of this as the days go on. All right, guys, next we have to go over all of the different rules that have recently been implemented. I want to go over all these in detail because they are very important. It's a lot of new rules and regulations that just came out over the last week or so that in that in my opinion is going to make it harder for the hedge funds to do what they've been doing. But let's start off to say the DTC 2021005, this is a biggie. This rule prevents using synthetic shares created by deep in the money calls and married puts from being used to cover real short positions. It links any of these synthetic shares to the call or put that created them. Ape speak, no more synthetic shares to cover FTD obligations or failure to deliver obligations. Once FTDs can't be covered with the long positions created by deep in the money calls and married puts, the hedge funds take their last breath. This is the catalyst that puts the squeeze into motion. This absolutely has to be the last one to go into effect without question. It fundamentally changes how shorts can cover, and by doing so, it forces the squeeze to start. Regulators can't stop it once this goes into effect, which is why the need the previous rulings to control it before it hits the ledger. AMC was added to the NYSE threshold securities list on Friday, June 25th, section 203B3 states that clearing houses must close FTDs if they persist on 13 consecutive trading days. So because AMC made it to the list on the 25th, then this means the start of these consecutive FTDs occurred on Friday the 18th. If failure to deliveries continue to happen up until the 7th of July, then they'll be forced to close the positions. So this is real guys, these new rules are now in effect and things are tightening up around the hedge funds. If the failure to deliver continue to happen up until the 7th of July, then they will be forced to close the positions. So yet another possible bullish situation for AMC on top of everything else. July 7th is going to be the day to watch. Next, as I mentioned on Friday, AMC might have one more day of tight consolidation in this pennant, but the tighter it gets, the more explosive it can be. She's coiling pretty tight. Also, the tighter AMC gets, the more bullish I get. So this is referring to the technical analysis side of things and AMC is really formated into a nice bull pennant. A lot of consolidation in low volume days, but like I've said, I've seen this before in other names and after this happens, sometimes the stock can really rip. And finally, if you guys are still holding on to shares like I am, just a few reminders. These are six truths about AMC fact check time. No one is selling any AMC. We can see that by the daily charts and by the daily volume. Shorts haven't covered. In fact, the open short interest has even went up as the days went on. There are billions of synthetics. The current price is a lie. We own roughly 90% of the floats. $100,000 plus a share is easily possible if we hold. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on. I'll be going through all the new information as it comes in and giving it to you guys in a nice short video for you guys to come here and check it out. Also, make sure to drop a like in the video for some good luck for AMC tomorrow and make sure to grab some free cash by going down below and signing up for public. Thanks as always for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. And lastly, you guys, we do have a Discord server that's dedicated to investors like you. It's full of dividend investors, option traders, day traders, and much, much more. So join the Discord. The link is down below in the description. It's absolutely free to join. And I hope we see all of you guys in there.